loading again. All right, let's record, record, record. All right, everybody's loading. We are yes. on Restless Soul C, the Redux version with these resupply zones scattered across the map. On the bottom, yes. we see the Hell General as China and Law as the Blue China against Ice, which is the Maroon China. Wow, this field game feels counterfeit. And with Xeno as our Yellow USA. And yes. given the laws of nature, Xeno will be the first one to die in this game. Mm -hmm. Three Chinas, one USA is like a fucking tech convention. Three Asians, one American. I think I watched this. Johnny Sins was the main actor. Yes, he was my barber too. <laughs> Good man, fuck. Wait, 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 what is this supply center? Zeno! Heresy, my friend! What is this? Huh? Oh, Look at Zeno's supply that's... center. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Put my kids in. Sorry. Johnny, yeah, Johnny since told him that. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna laugh that much, okay? All right, so we do see that the uh, Hell General and Zeno is going to go for a top area. The airfields are extra mm -hmm. important. Yes, at least 50% more important. I do see a supply chain going on in the bottom, which is complete heresy. Yeah, that's two Chinas that's competing communism. <laughs> oh, he is putting a Gatling cannon there just to, you know, protect it even further. And no, General he's, also has he's, hmm? Yeah, he's there to fucking drive him away from the supplies field and he's gonna shoot up the truck. Okay, Hazino is capturing the airport and we are gonna see the Humvee come in with the Ranger. A word of advice, if you're gonna see a Red Guard and Ranger, you should always like unless the Ranger has veteran company, don't engage Red Guard on open ground. It will come and stab you. Alright, so yeah. No, yeah. Law took the supplies and the welfare. He's trying to have his cake and eat. No, no, Ooh. Ice. Ice took both. No, I had Ice. Hell General took both of them. Law's blue. Ah. Yes. Yes. Have a like for our boys in blue that uphold the laws. I never got no, that, you know. This person gets thousands of likes, can we get this too? I don't get it. Yeah, this person gets one million likes, can I get at least a text back? <laughs> and she never texted back. So the middle yeah, has this... a resupply zone, unused, and there's a, literally a scout by law that could just put that on top of this. It would expose it, as you can have stealth detection for it, but wait. The engagement going between Law and uh, Ice right now. I do love yeah, those minigunners in the back. How many? Is that like four yeah. minigunner teams? Yeah, Holy that's moly. Four. That is a and lot. And he of has optimized production because he had six battle masters and four minigunners. That's kind of suspicious. You know? He probably does. I do find it interesting that Zeno's be going so deep. He's being a protector against China. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Great protectionism, topical. Like, how would you ever, why would you ever build a, a protector against somebody that is in the ECA or maybe a, uh, actually not even, ECA or yeah, general ECA, yeah. Oh wait, you're just like banging your minigunners? Come on. Fight like a man. And use your gas to kill He's the Gatling turrets. He's actually microing them. He killed the Pyros first. Isn't killing the Red Guards better? Doesn't Pyro do like burst damage on one guy? Yeah, but he's guaranteed to kill at least one person. Okay, now he's gonna win if he just stops and fires. Yeah, he's gonna win this engagement, definitely. Very well no, played by Ice. Yes, he got a lot of minigunners, that's... That's how you play strat. I mean, like, what else do you need from, um... Oh wait, is that a... Yes, Dragon Tank, that's what you need against Battlemasters, definitely. If you it's had 2-1, like, you should be getting an airfield right now, Law. You have 4k. It's almost like those minigunners didn't exist for a moment. 
and that dragon tank was just in a vacuum of nothing. So I remember BP I rem adding Vinny as a tier one. I think that wouldn't be that bad because it does like delete some tactics. Like they're really good. Yeah, he got Maracar to play 10 million games, and the only conclusion he could come up with is minigunners to tier one. Yes, and Crusaders that were different, I remember. Yes. So just as a advice, if your tank is burning, like the Gatling tank that Hell General just had, and is smoking, you should probably not use that in combat. Go get that repaired first. Oof. Yeah, these minigunners, though, they're doing God's work as they're ruining the infantry, and these tanks are just outnumbered regardless. There is Patriot yes. nationalism from ICE right now. No upgrades from these guys. Still no airfield as well. One pointless Gatling turn getting built by law. I think Xeno's gonna die now. It's time. No, not yet. Uh, not yet. Yes. I was gonna lose $900. Wow, no, Comanche's killing shit. Because both wow. China's gonna get an airfield, that's why. Okay, well, she's are doing something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. Yes, yeah, so don't kill the power plant when your tanks are next to it. Good job. Yes, Bruce and his power <laughs> hard <on. laughs> Yes. Well, it removes your rate. It removes the enemy's radar. It gives them 50% slower production speed and. Uh, yeah, it's see, see you got How much is it? Mm, 25 at best. 25%? Really? That's it? Oh, come on, that's lame. Radiation no, swimming no. is also lame. Don't swim in the radiation. Get out of the fire. Hell I really generous. wish we upgrade, we you know, increase the damage of radiation. I mean, look at that. That's, that's pathetic. Yes, yeah, GG. Hell General causes the GG. Oh, now we see a Han gunship, that's good, finally. Hell General does call it GG because Comanches were too much for him, and Zeno says GG as well. He's telling Law to surrender at this point. Yeah, that Hell, that Han gunship is gonna... If he can off. turn it to, uh, you know, if he can get Flame gunship too, he should be able to stop this, but then again... He you know, did, he got it. Yeah, he, he got Han, then bomb. dropped the bomb. Drop the bass. Yes. Please send us pick in the camps, please. Send Bob and Vajni, please. Yes. Well, well that's Dino's all, folks. Still. He's not going to do anything else. We do see Gatra come in, but that's a heroic Han Gunship, so he needs more than one. He does have two, actually. But no, I don't think two of them can kill it. If it does, no, not yeah. Not killing it. Yeah, and plus he, those guys have port bonus on them, so they're not going to be able to do much. No, he's focused on the other side, repelling Xenos, two Comanches right there, the fucking Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. Bombardment, Bombardment comes out from Xeno. I hear, hear spy plane somewhere. Wait, what did he hit with the MiG? Gatling cannon. Ah, uh, well, the hunger is going to die to the Gatling right now. Oof, that's a shame. Good mind drop, it will be table, you know, blocking off the minigunners, and we are going to see a parabomb come in. If that hits, then that's going to be a perfect parabomb, even if it's rank 1, but no, it's not. It's going to probably hit the second Tank. line. No. Tanks too fast. Not even nuclear in, just only uranium shells. Wow. Makes though do go down to the Gats, so I don't really know what they can do right now. I think Law is dead. Law, call GG, or yes. you know, your second base won't survive long anyways. Yes, oh, Zeno's going for Comanche spam. Well, there's no anti air, so why not? Alright, with that, it's a good game, and I will be honest, I did not expect this USA to survive. Alright, let's stop the recording now.